Okay guys, here's what we do have a setup this year for our greenhouse down here. This is what we're doing. This is a pretty thick tarp, uh, a lot different than last year. We used like some kind of pool cover. Um, this one definitely keeps really keeps the heat in. Again, we got all the grill lights now working. One, two, three, four, five of them. Got three new lights yesterday. Doing really good keeping all the heat in. Got the orange tree back there, doing really good. Uh, if you remember, I cut some of the top off because it was growing really tall. I want the more stay um, stay wide. Um, the pomegranate it was looks like looks a little um, bad right now, but it gets like every time I bring it in the winter time. Um, time it gets to like March and April, it'll turn nice and green again, and new leaves will start growing. This is how it is for the winter time between the water, less water, and it's, the sun, it's not exactly the sun, so it's going through a little bit of uh, a dormancy slightly. That's not to go the fruit off. There's no point. It's not going to really grow much anymore. That's my focus on it surviving. And we'll see what happens in the spring. Um, down here we have the lime tree. It is definitely really growing over summer. Looking good. One of banana trees here. This is one by the front yard by the window. This is a, a dwarf one. I'm not going to be confused. It's the one inside the house that gets a couple, um, about 6 to 12 feet tall. I'll show you guys that in a second when we go upstairs. It is another one, but we don't have room upstairs for it right now. This one's another banana tree, dwarf banana tree. Um, we take an epic upstairs once Christmas is over. I'll show you guys why it's kind of crowded up there right now. And down here is the lemon tree. So we have all those citrus plants here. And these also ones are moving back upstairs too, but we don't have room for them. We've got two strawberries, a normal red strawberry, and we've got the pine berry one down there. It actually seems to be doing really, really good down here so far. So it definitely keeps the heat in. The only thing we're missing right now is the heater. You know, my heater, especially when we get towards like January, February, the coolest months of the year. Um, so we'll be having that in, adding that in once. Once we need it, we don't really need it right now to grow It's like 60 degrees outside right now. Um, but even when it gets down to the 30s, it's still like in the high 50s in here. So that's what it looks like back here. And in the garage right now, it's 50. Oh, it's turned off. It's turned off. It says 50, 60 something degrees. 64 right now. I think the lowest we had like in the 40s and 30s. That's before it had the, the, heat, um, the heater in there. The heater keeps it nice and warm from the top to the bottom. Uh, we normally don't have a problem in the winter time. We got negative 30 outside. It was like 35 in the garage here, but it was like 60 underneath the tarps and cover. We had it all covered up and keep the heat in. It did really, really well. So I'm hack side how that works. This is my basement down here. We used to have them back in the day when they were a lot smaller, back like 2000, 2008 and 2012 or 13-ish. We used to have them back here. Um, but water started getting everywhere and this made a mess. So then they got promoted to the garage. And we got more plants and some had to come up here because we didn't have enough room. This is the kitchen. And this is what I talked about all summer long. That's where they go in the winter time. So you have a Christmas tree up here, which is normal where the couch goes. The couch moved over here. And that's normal where that is. So that blocks area right there. So we have the plants all spread around up here. Oh, so that looks uh, kind of cool. So we're going to start over here with the... let turn all the lights on. Uh, we have the fig tree here. This is the tropical fig or the... The fig that can't be outside during winter, whatever you want to call it. The brown fig. Patio fig. Saying close enough. <laughs> close enough to the name. So we did this for a couple of years now. It does really good up here. Normally it's on this side of the house during the summer, you guys, if you guys have been on my channel for a while. You guys rec recognize it from there. You, got, you can see a lot of new leaves grown, so that's happy and healthy. It's going to take some time. It's not going to be outside. The sun's obviously not as strong because we're now in the winter. Um, so here's the main tree on the side of the house. This is what I was talking about downstairs. This one can get like 6 to 12 feet tall. It's doing really, really well up here right next to a window. That leaves just open up today. So it's definitely, if the leaves are open up, that means it's doing really, doing something right. And it's doing really well. Back here, we got the pineapple plant. Hanging out, doing really good, nice and green. Coconut tree, second year in here. Doing good. These leaves are opening up. Or fawns, whatever they call them. And this, leaf, this one is starting, I call them leaves. It's starting to grow too. So I'm obviously doing something right if they're all still alive. Up here to get a lot of light. This is not the, the best day to do. It's cloudy and rain. We got inch of rain this morning. This isn't the best day, but there's always it gets really, really sunny in here. Here's the hibiscus down here. Some of the leaves are falling off. Not sure what's going on with that. I think I need to water them a little bit more. I was seeing to water them once a week on Saturdays, but I might need to double that. I might need to do it Saturdays and some other day of the week. Um, it's gonna be since they're a lot bigger now. It's not the same as they used to be. Um, they require a lot of water. Here's the Hawaiian forest right here. Still doing good. This one we got from Hawaii. And the second one over here doing not as good, but still getting a lot of light. Not too sure what's wrong with this plant. 
I had a couple issues with this one to work in the summer. Not too sure what's going on. And the passion fruit, we had, it was like, if, it, if I want to cut it, it would probably have been up there. This plant is easily 12, 13 feet tall. Um, but I cut it back, and you can see a lot of new growth is starting to grow. So this plant is definitely very healthy, too. And I put a lot of composting, comp I mean, composting tea for all these guys, too. Um, back, I think that was October, September, or somewhere around there. So these plants are going to have plenty of nutrients for the summer or for the winter time, and they all got all new dirt, too. So guys, this is what's going on. You're going to probably be in these areas till at least after New Year's. Uh, and then the tree will come down and I'll be moved back to this location over here. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's Tropical Plant Update. I will see you guys next Tuesday for another awesome Tropical Plant Update. Thank you guys for watching.